Hey guys, how's it going? So this is Josh with TechZone UK. In this video, I want to show you how to get the proper Windows 8 start menu back. There's many different start menus you can actually get for Windows 8 now um, because it's been out for a while. However, this is the by far the best one um, I've ever used and seen. The only problem about this one is that when you download it, they give you a 30-day trial. But if you actually want to buy it, it's $2. Now, $2 really isn't going to break the bank. I mean, you've got to be pretty stingy if you can't spare $2 uh, for this. But I guess I'll have to change your mind when we've actually taken a look at the software and actually shown you a bit about how it works. So what we're going to do is we're on the their website here. Their website is startisback.com. So I'll put the link in the description as always. And you can see if we go to features here, I give you a few pictures of what the actual uh, software looks like and as you can see it looks very 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 similar to the uh, Windows 7 start menu. Now when I was looking at this I didn't really like the look of it too much because you sort of got this blocky colour down here but you still got this transparency so I was wondering hmm I wonder what they've done and I looked down a little bit and what have they done they've made a perfect looking Windows 8 start menu uh, with custom buttons as well so let's actually take a look at this software um, and install it on this Windows 8 machine so what we're going to do is we're going to come to the top here and we're going to press download then we're going to press this big download button here which will uh, then take us to the download page here it is so I'm going to press save I know some running Win, uh, Internet Explorer here, so if you're using Google Chrome or Firefox or something like that, then it may be different. But what we're going to do is we're just going to click Run here and start to uh, install the software. Now, as you can see, this is basically asking us what we want to, in, uh, how we want to install it. So we can install it just for me, or we, or we can install it for everyone on this computer. Now, I'm going to go for everyone, just in case I want to add some users in the future. Um, it's probably come up with the UAC here, so we're going to hit Yes. And yeah, that's fine. I'm going to store it in the C drive there and let's go ahead and install the start menu so as you can see look it's already put the start menu button back so uh, there we go look welcome to start is back your desktop experience has been improved here's a short tutorial press the windows key on the keyboard or click the start button to get it up press control and windows key on the keyboard simultaneously uh, or click the start button with the mouse wheel to bring up the start screen uh, right click the start menu and choose properties and configure start menu with other cool features so let's click on configure start is back and let's take a look at some of the configuration options they give us so currently if we click on it look we've actually got this really really nice I am really liking this at the moment uh, start menu for Windows 8 absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to a um, Windows 8 looking um, icon here. Now the only thing I don't like about this is that when you hover it, it sort of goes a horrible colour that looks like it's done a bit in paint. So tell you what, let's have a look at let's just keep it at the normal normal logo there. Keeps it really nice. And uh, as you can see look we got um default start menu style. Let's go with this one here. Let's try out what this one looks like. So what I'm doing is I'm just, uh, clicking on it once and hitting apply and let's take a look. And wow does that look really really good. I really like that for Windows 8, one of the best um, start menus I've ever used for Windows 8. Now as you can see that we've got uh, disable start menu translucency, so I guess really, you know, that's a graphics thing. Um, disable task bar translucency, hide user account picture, um, apply that, and no picture, I'm going to keep that picture because I mean, that's what gives the the start menu that really nice look. Um, show all programs as a flyout menu, so I'm guessing it will come out at the side. So let's take a look here. All programs, there they are here. But I'm going to keep it as a nice Windows 7 theme. So let's take a look at the uh, switching here. So we got um, configure switching rules. When I log on to my PC, show the desktop. So obviously we can obviously make it go into the the start screen. Uh, I can't remember how they told you to do it now, unless it was some weird combination. Uh, log into my PC, show desktop, that's fine. When I uh, press the Windows key, show the start menu, so obviously we could go show the start screen. The start screen is the Metro interface. When I press control, uh, show the start screen. When I'm pressing control, so I'm wondering if I have to insert control. No, I can't do that. Uh, hang on. Um, can I do that? Should be able to um, that's fine. Right, uh, when I close modern app 
switch to last used environment. Let's go switch to desktop for that one. Configure bottom left hand corner. When I click the starts, uh, when I click on start screen, uh, switch to last used app. That's fine. Uh, configure which screen edges perform special actions on the desktop. Enable top left corner started apps. That's normal. T top right screen edges. That's fine. Uh, that looks good. Enable bottom left hand corner start screen. Note because we've got our start menu there is the uh, start screen there. And uh, enable all screen edges on secondary monitors. That could be quite useful. Let's take a look at the advanced options here. Uh, rename start screen to apps and keep modern apps there. We could have that. Uh, combine start button and context menu with start screen context, context menu. Tweak window settings, store and display recently owned open programs, that's good. Uh, store and display recently opened items, that's good. And uh, enable shared corners between multiple monitors, that's fine. And enable taskbar and start menu animations, that'd be good. Um, so as you can see, disable start is back, log off is required to enable start is back, okay. So you could just disable it if you want. And if we go to about here, you can see that we've got uh, trial days 30. Now, um, this is looking really, really good here. Uh, contains multiple precision arithmetic code, lots and lots of complicated stuff there, um, and it automatically checks for newer versions. So let's hit apply and OK. And there we go. Look, we now have a really, really nice um, start menu back in Windows 8. So to be honest, after using this for a while, I mean, there is absolutely nothing wrong with it. I cannot find any glitches with it. Everything is how it should be. You can configure it with all the items and things like that. They've really thought this through really, really well. Um, and I've heard some news about the new Windows version that's coming out, which is going to be Windows Blue. And apparently there might be some rumors going around saying that um, there might be uh, a start menu in Windows Blue. But that is definitely not for sure yet. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just want to say a massive thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like. And if you want to see more from my YouTube channel, then uh, please subscribe. And if you've got any questions or know anything about Starters Back, then uh, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. Just wanted to give a massive thank you to Shadows Tutorials for giving me a shout out in our videos. Um, basically that has given me a whole, new, a whole new load of subscribers and if you are one of those subscribers or if you're recently a new subscriber, thank you very much for subscribing to my videos. I really appreciate it and uh, I'm definitely going to be giving you some brand new content um, to fulfill those subscribing needs. So uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.